A local man is fighting the U.S. Postal Service to either find his lost shoes or get the 677 bucks that he paid mm. for them back. So he called Seven on your side, and Horace Holmes found out there is a little-known rule, and it's holding everything up here. Horace joins us with what he found. Horace. It is amazing. Leon Ellis, you have an eye for men's shoes. This is a pair of Johan Savaki tennis shoes made in Italy and once you find out you've heard how much it costs almost $700 then you understand why Terrence Orendorf is so upset that his shoes are lost in the mail. Terrence Orendorf admits he has a weakness for online shopping and for shoes. You like shoes? Yes. Specifically exotic designer shoes. Like this pair he received just today. He had been hoping to add this pair of $677 Johan Safaki tennis shoes to his collection. He purchased the shoes online from a store in Italy last February, but when the shoes arrived at his home, they were damaged. So he packed them up, went to his local post office to send them back to Italy. And I tried to send them through the postal service and they never got them. No problem. Orndorff told Seven on Your Side that before sending them off, he insured the shoes for the maximum $650. And after the store in Italy said they hadn't received them, he went on to the Postal Service website to track the package. April 11th, Chicago, Illinois. The Postal Service, he says, still hasn't been able to find his shoes in Chicago or anywhere else. Orndorff filed his insurance claim, and after going back and forth with USPS, finally in early December, he received this letter from the head of the International Claims for the Postal Service, saying his claim had been denied, stating according to the International Mail Manual, prohibited items to Italy include footwear of any kind. And they come up with, you can't send shoes to Italy. It's like they're looking for any excuse not to pay me. So Orndorf reached out to Still Seven on Your Side for help. Is there a lesson you learned out of all this? Use Federal Express. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seven on Your Side wanted to know if it is true that you can't send shoes to Italy, and if so, why Mr. Orndorf wasn't told that before he mailed them off. We went to the USPS website and it does state that it is prohibited to descend footwear to Italy. We spoke with the Postal Service representative late this afternoon who said that they will do whatever they can to help Mr. Orndorff with his claim. We'll stay on top of this. Wait, wait, wait. You cannot Leon? legally no. send shoes to Italy. No. That's, that's bizarre. That's insane. And how would he have known that? He never could yeah, have known exactly. that. I don't know. <laughs>